The Comet 3i Atlas is splitting in pieces and its shards are on their way to Earth. Deep space just got a whole lot weirder. Suddenly, nine unknown objects popped into existence, moving in lockstep with the interstellar Comet 3i Atlas. And this is bizarre because of how many it is. It's literally a swarm of comets. This stunning discovery, confirmed by the world's most powerful telescopes, has everyone from Michio Kaku to top government officials scrambling for answers. These aren't just ordinary space rocks. Their energy signatures are off the charts, suggesting technology far beyond our grasp. The silence from space agencies is deafening, while whispers of secret defense plans grow louder. Get ready to explore the incredible facts and the shocking theories behind these mysterious visitors. The implications for Earth are truly mind-boggling. The Impossible Companions An amateur astronomer named Leslie Peltier, watching from a hillside in northern Chile, froze at his screen. He used a massive 40-inch research-grade telescope, hooked up to a special camera that was cooled to super-cold temperatures, and a high-tech tracking system linked to NASA's vast data. For weeks, he'd seen only one object, the bright green streak of 3i Atlas. But now, around that main emerald glow, nine smaller points of light appeared. They were dim but crystal clear, moving in perfect lockstep with the main comet. To put it mildly, they looked like tiny fireflies dancing around a giant lantern. He quickly shared his findings online, posting the images to several astronomy forums. At first, many professional scientists dismissed these observations. They thought it was just noise in the data, or perhaps cosmic rays messing with the sensors. But not all things are what they seem. Over the next 48 hours, the story took a dramatic turn. The most powerful eyes on Earth and in space, telescopes like the James Webb Space Telescope, Hubble, the very large telescope in Chile, and the KEK Observatory in Hawaii, all confirmed the exact same thing. These aren't just any telescopes. These are instruments built to peer back in time and measure the faintest galaxies at the very edge of our universe. They don't make mistakes or hallucinate. The nine companion objects were real. The uniformity of what they saw was truly terrifying. Spectral reports, which tell scientists what things are made of and how they move, showed that all nine of these mysterious objects shared the same incredible speed, followed the exact same path as 3i Atlas, and even had the same strange green-tinted tail. This was solid proof. These objects were not from our solar system. Until that moment, every single astronomer, from hobbyists to top experts, had only seen one object. Now, there were 10. This was a jaw-dropping discovery. Further tests using spectroscopy, which breaks down light to show what elements are present, revealed even more mind-blowing details. All nine companions carried the same metal-rich signature, nickel, cobalt, and high-temperature alloys, just like 3i Atlas itself. They also had the same unusual glow, powered by carbon monoxide. But here's where it gets truly wild. While the companions matched the main comet in many ways, they were tiny in comparison. Each companion was about one-tenth the size of 3i Atlas, yet somehow they seemed to be powered by a nuclear core twice as mighty. The math alone made scientists more than just nervous. It sent shivers down their spines. 3i Atlas had already baffled them with its estimated 10 gigawatt power source, figured out from its heat signature and the way its tail behaved. But these nine companions? They appeared to pump out 20 gigawatts each, that's a figure that absolutely defies physics. For a fusion reaction of that scale to happen inside such a small body, it should simply tear itself apart. Even our most advanced reactors on Earth cannot come close to that kind of power to mass ratio. Think about it. Our biggest power plants weigh thousands of tons and only produce a few gigawatts of electricity. These interstellar objects, no bigger than a city block, each radiate 20 gigawatts, enough power to light up entire nations. The idea that something so small could hold that much energy isn't just unnatural, it's truly terrifying. When astrophysicists at Caltech and MIT tried to model this phenomenon on their supercomputers, the machines repeatedly crashed. No matter how they adjusted the settings, temperature, pressure, plasma density, the complex equations just refused to work. 
you simply cannot fit the necessary fuel or containment field into an object that small using any known science. Doing so would demand technology far, far beyond anything we have on Earth. Some scientists thought maybe it was an exotic fusion-fission hybrid. Others wondered if antimatter or even dark matter might be involved in fueling them. But everyone agreed, this was not normal cosmic chemistry. But the most shocking fact is not just what they are, but how they showed up so suddenly. Four of the biggest telescopes in the world had been watching 3 I Atlas for months. Spacecraft like NASA's Juno at Jupiter, the Parker Solar Probe flying close to the Sun, and the Bepi Colombo mission heading to Mercury were all collecting data from space. Dozens of amateur astronomers were also tracking every single movement. Yet none of these eyes, on Earth or in space, had seen even a hint of the nine companions before they blinked into existence. What many overlooked is the sheer speed of their appearance. According to Professor Avi Loeb's team at Harvard, the nine objects appeared at 2 a.m. Universal Coordinated Time on September 19th. The event itself happened in only one-tenth of a millisecond. In observational terms, they just popped into existence. To put that into perspective, a human eye blink lasts about 300 milliseconds. A camera flash takes about 5 milliseconds. This event was 30,000 times faster than a blink and 100 times faster than a strobe light flash. That kind of speed is why no telescope or spacecraft managed to capture the exact moment they appeared. The event was simply too fast for any sensor we have to record in real time. It might seem impossible to us, but in the vastness of deep space, these timescales are almost trivial. Gamma ray bursts, for instance, can release more energy in a few milliseconds than every star in our galaxy combined. Cosmic rays zip through planetary orbits at nearly the speed of light, about 186,000 miles per second, fast enough to cross from Earth to the Moon in just over a single second. Even the biggest black holes can slam together and merge in as little as one thousandth of a second, sending ripples of gravity across the cosmos before we can even react. But what if there's a simpler, more natural explanation for this cosmic mystery? Kaku's Cosmic Crash Many people are crazy about the idea of alien technology, but not everyone agrees with Professor Loeb's bold mothership hypothesis. Enter Michio Kaku, another brilliant mind, who offered a more down-to-earth explanation for the strange events surrounding 3I Atlas. He suggested that 3I Atlas might simply be a comet-like object that collided with a huge, super-dense interstellar rock. Because 3I Atlas itself is much tougher than normal comets and was moving at over 60 kilometers per second, that's over 37 miles per hour. Second, incredibly fast. The impact could have shattered it into many pieces. The key, Kaku pointed out, is that these fragments would keep the same speed and travel along the same path as the original comet. In this scenario, the smaller pieces we now see as nine companions would simply be super dense chunks of the original body, absorbing its massive kinetic energy from the crash. It's a compelling thought offering a way to explain the multiple objects without needing advanced alien technology. The universe is full of violent collisions, after all. What many overlooked is how common such impacts might be in the vastness of space. However, Professor Loeb quickly responded to Kaku's idea, poking holes in it. He argued that if these were just fragments from a collision, they would not be powered like miniature reactors. Think about it. No known rock could simply break into nine pieces, with each one suddenly generating an astounding 20 gigawatts of power. Plus, the green tails of all nine objects matched 3i Atlas perfectly. If they were just random fragments, it would be almost impossible for them to have such identical and consistent emissions. The thing nobody tells you is that while collisions are common, the precise energy signatures and coordinated behavior of these objects push Kaku's theory to its very limits. And then came the second shock. Just as scientists were trying to make sense of 3I Atlas and its mysterious escort, another interstellar comet, named Swan R2, was seen approaching. But this wasn't just any comet. Swan R2 was a behemoth, 100 times more massive and much brighter than 3I Atlas. Its tail stretched an incredible two and a half degrees across the night sky 
making even the biggest comets in human history look tiny by comparison. To get an idea of its size, imagine looking up and seeing something in the sky that covers an area equivalent to five full moons lined up side by side. This giant space traveler was on a collision course, not with Earth, but with a rendezvous with the Sun. Even more unsettling? Swan R2 was set to reach its closest point to the Sun, called Perihelion, in the exact same week as 3i Atlas this very October. This essentially creates an unprecedented interstellar traffic jam around our Sun. Imagine two massive cosmic visitors from different parts of the galaxy, both arriving at our doorstep at almost the same moment. It's like something out of a science fiction movie, but it's happening right now. These cosmic events, though rare, might have left their mark throughout human history. Official silence. What many overlooked is that while these interstellar objects feel new and strange to us, humanity might have witnessed such phenomena before, leaving behind whispers in ancient texts. Historians digging through old archives point out intriguing connections. For instance, Chinese imperial records mention a heavenly dragon appearing in 200 BCE. Babylonian clay tablets describe a splitting star that brought great upheavals. Medieval European chronicles from around the year 1000 talk about a green visitor with a tail like a banner. These aren't direct hits, of course, but the descriptions, especially the green tails, sound strikingly similar to 3i Atlas. If that 2,200-year cycle holds true, then, to put it mildly, we are due for another such visit right now. It raises a chilling question. If these objects have visited before, what did our ancestors make of them? And what impact did they have? These historical accounts add another layer of intrigue, suggesting that our solar system might not be as quiet as we thought, and that we might be part of a much larger, recurring cosmic drama. And you can see this everywhere when you start looking at ancient celestial observations, hints of the unexplained woven into the fabric of our past. Yet, despite this growing mountain of data and the public fascination that's sweeping the globe, the official word from agencies like NASA and the European Space Agency, or ESA, has been almost completely silent. They've issued only the briefest statements about ongoing observations, repeating over and over again that there is no evidence of any threat. This silence, however, only feeds the growing paranoia. It's almost as if they're trying to keep a lid on something truly monumental. The thing nobody tells you is that behind these bland public statements, things are far more urgent. Inside the Pentagon and the European Space Command, emergency briefings have begun. Leaked memos, passed around in hushed tones, show detailed contingency plans. These plans range from simple interception scenarios to full-blown planetary defense operations. It's a drastic shift from the public calm, suggesting that the scientists and military leaders know more than they are letting on. The contrast is stark. Public reassurance versus secret preparations. China's National Space Administration has reportedly rerouted its massive heavy lift Long March 9 rocket program. Their goal? to design a super-fast interceptor, a kind of cosmic dart to meet these visitors head-on. The European Space Agency, not to be outdone, is pulling out dusty old blueprints from its long-canceled Don Quixote asteroid deflection mission. These plans, once thought to be science fiction, are now being seriously considered as tools to face a very real, very present cosmic mystery. This cosmic dance between fear and scientific curiosity is escalating and the world holds its breath as October approaches. Despite all the public excitement and speculation, official agencies remain remarkably guarded. NASA has outright refused to release the raw data from the James Webb Space Telescope's observations of 3i Atlas and its companions. They say it's about data verification, but many wonder if they are hiding something even more profound. The ESA has also declined to comment on its ongoing planetary defense activities. Even the White House, usually quick to issue statements, offered only a one-sentence response. We are aware of the situation and monitoring it. This wall of silence is, you see, exactly what feeds the paranoia. If the evidence of these impossibly powerful objects is so strong, why isn't the world openly preparing? What many overlooked is that some insiders whisper about a silent mobilization. 
Spacecraft are being quietly retested. Defense satellites are being brought online. Radio telescopes, the giant ears that listen to the universe, are being moved to higher alert status. It's a global game of chess being played in the shadows, with the stakes being nothing less than our planet's future. So, what do you truly believe is unfolding out there? Is it just a cosmic collision, a daring rescue, or something far more incredible? The mystery of 3 Atlas and its companions deepens. Tell us what you think in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more mind-blowing cosmic discoveries.